morning Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you in the name of the risen and glorified Lamb of God. To Him be glory both now and forevermore. Amen. Well, in our nation, we have a national holiday called Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day. It's when families uh, get together and uh, they give thanks uh, and appreciation uh, for the family. And, you know, in our nation, the governors of the states now are considering canceling Thanksgiving. Oh, my. They want us to have a virtual Thanksgiving on some kind of video conferencing app or something like that. So imagine asking, you know, Aunt Jane to pass the uh, potatoes and gravy. And, uh, you know, what a mess that would be on her uh, camera phone. And, and so uh, we understand that Thanksgiving is an event. But Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day is an event, but Thanksgiving is an attitude. Thanksgiving Day is an event, but Thanksgiving is an attitude. And that begins in the heart, when we're thankful to God. Hallelujah. David said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Uh, Psalm 103, verse 2. And then James said, in James 1, 17, every good gift. And every perfect gift is from above, from the Father of lights, whom there's no, in whom there's no variableness nor shadow of turning. So David said, forget not his benefits. Uh, James said, every good gift, every perfect gift comes from above. Well, what are those gifts? Well, there's first off, if you're a Christian, we hope you are, salvation. There's family and friends. Uh, there's home and health and employment. Uh, these are wonderful things. But there's something even more important. Something more important than all those things that God gives. There's the gift, and then there's the giver. And God impressed me just this morning that there is the gift, and there is the giver. Am I seeking for the gift from God, or am I seeking God Himself? This comes out in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and uh, verse 18. Where it says, in everything, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, give thanks. So that's not just uh, receiving from his hand. Uh, that is receiving the circumstances of our lives from his hand as well. Not just things, but everything in our lives. Every circumstance that we're going through. And so think about that. Whether it's in the best of times or the worst of times, every time is a gift from Him because in every time, if we're seeking not the gift, but the giver, then we will be blessed in a deeper knowledge of God. That's the greatest thing. That is the thing to give thanks for. The knowledge that we have of the person of God Himself through faith in the Lord Jesus. And as we walk with Him daily through every circumstances of life, the highs and the lows, that we can learn to give thanks because we know Him. May we all grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and evermore. The thankfulness in that knowledge of Him might increase in our hearts. In Jesus' name, Amen.